So Uncle Spurt, what have you had shoved in your crusty, hairy old ear holes this week? I hear you all potentially crying out. Well, the answer to that slightly weird question is the Xiaomi Buds 3T Pro. Like Xiaomi smartphones, these offer strong value for money. You get some really decent premium features packed in here, including excellent active noise cancellation, but at a price that won't absolutely molest your wallet. Unfortunately, I don't actually know exactly what that price will be because I'm shooting this ahead of the official UK launch, but they have promised me that it will be very competitive indeed. But anyhow, I've been using the Xiaomi Buds 3T Pro as my full-time True Wireless Earbuds for the last week or so. So here's my in-depth review. And for more on the latest and greatest tech, please do plug subscribe and ding that notifications bell. Cheers. Now, a lot of Xiaomi's True Wireless Earbuds, they rock a bullet style design. Whereas here in the case of the Xiaomi Buds 3T Pro, you've got that dangly stem finish akin to Apple's AirPods, of course, which to me, it kind of just looks like you're leaking seminal fluid out of both of your lug holes. But you know what, if you prefer, you can grab the Xiaomi Buds 3T Pro in black, as well as this glossy white finish. And as far as the comfort levels go, no complaints whatsoever. The Buds themselves weigh just about five grams each, super, super light and super comfortable. As usual with True Wireless Earbuds, you get a selection of differently sized silicon tips bundled in the box. You can find a pair that fits your own personal lug holes really, really neat and snugly. I didn't struggle to find a pair of silicon tips that fit my own baldy heed perfectly. The earbuds just stay in there nice and firm. There's no, no moving around whenever I'm eating, talking, doing whatever else, walking about the place as well, no problems. And I found they were comfortable to wear for, you know, three, four hours at a time. And they're IP55 water resistant as well. So no worries if you're out in a bit of a drizzle or if you're working up a bit of a sweat down the gym, something like that. The only part of the design I'm not a massive fan of is this slightly unsightly seam which runs along the outside of the plastic part of the bud. That does tend to pick up grime and dirt which really helps to highlight it unfortunately but it's not a massive issue. Connectivity, no issues there at all. Got Bluetooth 5.2 low energy support here on the Xiaomi Buds 3T Pro and you can connect up to two devices at the same time. So for instance, great if you wanna get connected to your phone, listen to music or podcast, but also connect to your laptop whenever you need to jump on a quick Microsoft Teams call or just do a quick bit of video editing, something like that. And even when I was walking around the center of a really busy city center, Barcelona for a good old MWC, I found that again, the connection wasn't distorted at all by the fact that lots of other people were into headphones all around me it was just perfect the only issue i noticed in terms of the actual audio streaming and the connectivity was an occasional tiny bit of distortion when i hibernate my phone and put it back in my pocket uh, as i was streaming bluetooth uh, you know music or podcasts or whatever kind of a sporadic issue and not really much of a problem at all just a minor ball lick at best now unfortunately there is no dedicated app for the xiaomi buds 3t pro uh, which is a real shame because a lot of true wireless earbuds now do offer a companion app so you can easily update uh, the buds you can keep tabs on the exact battery life and you can play around with some of the features like the actual audio output the noise cancellation however if you do own a xiaomi smartphone then you will be able to access some extra tools and features through the bluetooth settings menu so you can for instance toggle the noise cancellation on and off just simple things like that it's not a major issue if you don't have a xiaomi smartphone so don't stress about it too much because when i was testing these out for the majority of the time i was using an oppo smartphone instead so i didn't have access to those bonus tools but you do have touch controls here on the actual buds themselves to cycle through the likes of the noise cancellation modes you activate these controls by squeezing the stems, so to speak, rather than actually tapping the buds, which I found worked quite well. It meant that I didn't accidentally activate the controls at all, even if I was just adjusting a bud or something like that. What you'll need to do is a quick squeeze will pause your music, another quick squeeze will resume it. If you do a double squeeze, then that will skip you forward a track, and a tri triple squeeze, if I can say it properly, will skip you back a track. Now I've got to say the double squeezes and the triple squeezes definitely take some getting used to. You've got to do them at sort of just the right pace. And uh, sometimes some of my squeezes don't quite uh, connect, shall we say. Um, so I'm not the best around, but at least, as I say, you're not accidentally activating at all, skipping through your tracks when you were just happily listening to your music or, you know, skipping ahead in your podcast. And of course, you can't control the volume via the buds either. So if you do find that you are listening to a podcast, you need to bump up the volume to actually hear what's going on. Or you listen to music and all of a sudden it's gone crazy loud and you're like, ah, uh, you have to pull your phone out of your pocket and adjust it that way instead. And happily, the Xiaomi Buds 3T Pro also support auto pause and auto resume if you happen to yank a bud out tap it back in again so if you do find that somebody suddenly comes up to you and starts flapping their jaws just like well one sec there you go you can have a conversation and then as soon as they bugger off and leave you in peace again bung the buds back in job done 
And like a lot of premium true wireless earbuds, these Xiaomi Buds also support active noise cancellation to drown out all the crap going on all around you and just leave you to enjoy whatever you're listening to unmolested. Now you can cycle through the different active noise cancellation modes by long pressing on one of the stems and uh, the different modes are basically active noise cancellation off, active noise cancellation auto mode, otherwise you've also got an awareness mode which does the opposite of ANC, just pumps in everything that's going on around you straight into your locals. Quite handy if you are trying to chat with people, you don't want to be plucking your buds out or whatever. Now the ANC tops off at 40 decibels apparently, which is pretty impressive again for budget friendly earbuds and certainly does the job and the dynamic mode you'll find that does actually boost the noise cancellation when you are in a busy noisy environment like a high street or really reduce the traffic noises and all that kinds of stuff. I've used it on the tube before and actually does a pretty good job of cutting through all of that clamour. Makes it much easier to just enjoy a podcast or something without having to bump the volume all the way up. Uh, whereas uh, you will notice as well when you're in a quieter environment that the ANC just basically shuts off and then that'll help preserve the battery life. And yeah, certainly compared with most other true wireless earbuds that I have tested out with that noise cancellation built in, the Xiaomi Buds held up really, really well. As I said, it's perfectly possible to listen to a podcast or an audiobook, something where, you know, you've just got vocals that you need to sort of concentrate on. Uh, when you are in a high street, when you are on public transport without having to jack the volume all the way up and then like risk damaging your hearing. And the same quality carries through to the actual audio performance as well. You've got 10 mil drivers built into each of these tiny wee buds and the audio quality was really, really sound across the full range from bass all the way up to those highs. I found that every little bit of every track was generally well replicated and the individual instruments, the individual layers came through rather nicely. If you are a massive bass fan, then you're probably going to be better suited by something like a pair of Beats Buds, uh, but certainly I was happy enough listening to rock, metal, a uh, good bit of hip hop and dance music as well. And even just kicking back with a podcast or an audiobook, I found that those vocal tones were really rich, nice and crisp and clear. So yeah, again, great stuff. You've also got support for dimensional audio here on the Xiaomi Buds 3T Pro as well. So basically 360 60 degree surround sound audio with full head tracking support as well and I gotta admit it's really really impressive the surround sound activity on here sometimes I did actually find myself peering over my shoulder because I thought that something that has happened in the track was actually happening in real life as for the built-in mics they also do their job nicely as well I actually made some calls when I was riding the Barcelona tube uh, with my face mask on and the other person at the other end could still clearly hear everything I was saying even overall the noise the beeping the other people's conversations apparently other people's voices did come through as well but mine was quite distinct and clear and uh, no issues there at all. And let's finish up this review of the Xiaomi Buds 3T Pro with a look at their battery life. And Xiaomi reckons you'll get around six hours of life from these buds per charge. And with the ANC knocked off, sure, it's probably around the sort of five to six hours mark. I found that I had the dynamic ANC turned on most of the time because when I'm out and about, I want to be able to just concentrate on whatever I'm listening to. And it worked an absolute charm, but I did find the battery life then was reduced to around sort of four to five hours, uh, depending on obviously how many noisy environments you end up spending your time in. Oh, and also when I was keeping tabs on the battery life in the Android Bluetooth settings menu, I found that it did trickle down at first. I was really, really impressed by how slowly it was dropping. And then it did speed up quite considerably for the final sort of 50, 60%. So don't always rely on that remaining percentage level. So overall, for a pair of true wireless earbuds with ANC, these Xiaomi Buds are pretty average when it comes to the battery life. And then when you bung them back in the case, you'll get roughly three full recharges from this thing uh, while you're on the go as well, which is really, really handy. And again, you know, fairly standard for true wireless earbuds in 2022. And when the case has uh, got no battery charge remaining, we can just plug them in, get a bit of type C action on the go. Otherwise, the case itself does actually support wireless charging as well, which again is something that you only tend to find in those more expensive, more premium true wireless earbuds. So it's great to see Xiaomi fit it in here. The actual case itself is uh, perfectly fine as well. It certainly looks quite snazzy. It's got that lovely rounded sort of pebble effect, so it does slip quite easily into pockets and such forth. Not particularly chunky, as you can see there. And it seems to be pretty robust as well. A couple of times it's gone skidding off my desk, flying across the room, usually helped along by a cat or two as well, just giving it a quick flick. And you do have uh, the handy little LED at the front there, which just tells you how charged the uh, actual case itself is every time you open it up. So once that goes, so once that goes to red, 
then uh, you know you want to plug it back in or slap it on your wireless charging pad. So overall, i got to say great stuff from Xiaomi. The Buds 3T Pro, a very impressive premium style Buds, but hopefully, once we actually know that UK Ascom price, we'll be bowled over by how affordable they are. It's still kind of a shame you don't have app support uh, for these bad boys. So you don't have a Xiaomi phone and you don't have direct access to all that shenanigans. But apart from that, it's really hard to find any proper faults with it. So are you tempted by the Xiaomi Buds 3D Pro? Definitely be great to hear from you uh, down below. I've also got the new Xiaomi 12 smartphones. I've got the new Xiaomi smartwatches as well. So all of this content will be hitting text beds. Please do post subscribe, ding that notifications bell, and make sure you have yourself a bloody wonderful rest of the week. Cheers, everyone. Love you.